Let's increase the braking power. Right, there we are. We're really braking now. You can hear the the better effect that the supercapacitors are having. And we can decrease the braking. We can have a little bit of braking. We can have more braking. Full braking, right? That's full 100% duty cycle PWM. So you see we've got some time now to store that energy. You see the voltage rising across the pack. We're going to have exactly the same effects that we did on the big on the little cap, but it's going to take longer. And you'll see that in a minute you can hear the motor RPM slowly rising as the voltage is rising in the capacitor bank. Only slightly. Let's say this would be let's pretend we're driving down a hill. You know, we've still got a good amount of break in there. But you can also see that the capacitor bank is charging rather rapidly. So they, if you've got an undersized uh, capacitor bank, this is going to charge too quickly. And by the time you reach the, the bottom of a, of a, you know, a long hill, um, you're going to lose your braking effect, which is what you don't want. A, that would be dangerous, and B, um, you're not going to capture all your energy. So I think that's, um, let's get it charged up a bit here. I'm just playing with the break in there. So I'm going to pause the video for a second so you can hear the change in RPM. Okay, so I think you get the idea. As the it's about been about five minutes, I guess, and the capacitor bank is now charged up. So if we let's say we're finished rolling down the hill, because that noise is doing my head in. <laughs> right, here we go. We're finished charging. Now, now don't forget, although this motor was generating sixty volts, I've chosen a sixteen volt super cap super cap bank. You need that to generate the force. If, let's say if we had a 60 volt battery and a 60 volt motor, it, it's, just, it's going to reach an equilibrium before you've even started. Um, so there's, it's not going to pump anything into a 60 volt battery pack or capacitor bank. So it needs to be low voltage and now you've got the... see, see what I mean? So it forces the power back into the back and super capacitors are brilliant for this. Now you've got the problem. Your power's stuck in your super cap bank and the voltage is too low to pump back into the battery pack. Now comes your buck boost converter, which will, will step it up to a high enough voltage to charge into your battery bank. Now that was five minutes of charge. <clears throat> We've captured pretty much all of that. So now our little light bulb friend is just simply going to emulate um, being the buck boost converter, pumping the power back into the battery. And we'll go on another little test drive. So there we go. It's quite a high power bulb that, it's 21 watts. And you see that will just bleed off all that energy slowly that you've just captured going down your hill. But the main battery bank wouldn't be able to capture all that energy, some would be wasted as a resistive load. So let's um, roll down the hill again as we've got this happening. And the idea is that this will discharge at the proper rate, uh, a higher rate than you're ever going to need to, um, you know, generate into the capacitor bank. So if you had a really low power DC to DC buck boost converter, it wouldn't be able to um, transfer the power from the cap caps to the battery quick enough, and therefore you'd end up charging up your caps and losing your braking ability. So you need it. You need to size everything, you know, proportionally.
So now we're driving along. Well, we're rolling along. And we're going to brake. Sit the brakes on, ready? Right, we're braking. And we're going to stop braking. So you see our capacitor bank is now discharging through our imaginary buck boost converter, which is actually a light bulb. <laughs> but for the, for the purposes of this demonstration, it's good enough. So as we're now, we're now driving along, we're not braking. Our capacitor bank is being discharged back into the battery bank, and when we want to drive, and we want to sorry, when we want to brake, it's gonna we're gonna have a nice empty capacitor bank. So that's the idea. We're braking again now, and it's gonna charge it up again, not as fast this time because at, at the same time, your buck boost converter is nicking a bit of power. So we're not braking now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait five minutes, pause the video for five minutes while that capacitor bank discharges. I'm going to leave the load on. Right, so our capacitor bank is very depleted now, less than a volt. And I've got the, uh, the imaginary buck boost converter hooked up to the capacitor bank. So you can see the it's still actually discharging across that light bulb. So I'm going to now apply a bit of brakes and this would be what would happen. Apply some brakes. Right, we're braking. And you can see, although the the light bulb is dissipating, the motor's pumping so much power in there; it's still charging the, the capacitor bank. So in a minute, it's at 1.6 volts, 1.7, 1.8. One point nine, two volts. So, yeah, we're getting a bit. Just start to see a bit of glow across that bulb. So, um, when you're sizing up your capacitor bank, don't forget that your DC to DC buck converter will be constantly discharging. So that means you can have a slightly smaller capacitor bank than what you thought, because that's going to help things along. So that's still charging. And as we, let's say we've finished regening now, we've got to the bottom of the hill, we'll take the brakes off. And there you go, power's still sorting the capacitors, and it will now be getting boosted up to a high enough voltage to charge your batteries. So I think that explains the concept. I'm not gonna go any further with this DC motor controller because I've got no intentions of actually I've got no intentions of actually building a DC motor controller. Mine's going to be an AC, so a lot more a lot more attention is going to be paid to that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Next week, well, we're going to start building an AC one now, and I'll see you next week with it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye.